A combined inequality can also be written as a statement containing two inequality symbols without using the word or or the word and to join these two inequality symbols. So for example, suppose you have a friend Sarah who lives three miles from Dublin Airport and another friend John who lives five miles from Dublin Airport and you want to estimate the distance D between their two homes. The first part of the question asks us to find the smallest distance that D could be. The second part of the question we are asked to find the largest distance that D could be. And in the third part of the question we are asked to write an inequality that t describes all the possible values that D could have. So, as always, it is a good idea to draw a picture representing this information. So a good idea here would be to draw a circle that has Dublin Airport as its centre. So doing that now. So Dublin Airport here is the centre of the red circle, so we'll focus on the red circle first. Now we are told in the question that Sarah lives three miles from Dublin Airport. So we will set the radius of the red circle equal to 3 miles. So then Sarah's house is anywhere along the circumference of the red circle. Since anywhere along the circumference of the red circle is exactly 3 miles from Dublin Airport. Now also in the question we are told that John lives 5 miles from Dublin Airport. So now looking at the black circle this also has Dublin Airport as its centre. So we will set the radius of the black circle equal to 5 miles since this is the distance that John is from Dublin Airport. So now John's house is situated anywhere along the circumference of the black circle since anywhere along the circumference of the black circle is exactly five miles from Dublin Airport. So this is a picture representing the information that we were given in the question. Now if you look back up for part one we were asked to find the smallest distance that D could be. So you should think to yourselves well when would the distance between John's house and Sarah's house be the shortest? So we'll have the same circles here drawn again. So suppose both homes are on the same line going towards Dublin Airport. So we'll just draw a line representing that. So suppose John's house is situated here. So we'll do JH for John's house. And Sarah's house is situated here. We know that the radius of the red circle is 3 miles and we know that the radius of the black circle is 5 miles. Now we are trying to find the shortest distance between John's house and Sarah's house. So this situation that we have represented here is representing the shortest distance between Sarah's house and John's house. So this distance is here. Now if you look at your picture you can see clearly that the shortest distance is then equal to 5 miles minus 3 miles which is 2 miles. So this is the shortest distance that D could be between the two homes. The second part of the question we were asked to find the largest distance D could be between the two homes. So again we have the same circles here. So when would the distance between John's house and Sarah's house be largest? Well suppose both homes are on the same line but they're in opposite directions from Dublin Airport. So we'll just draw a line representing that. So suppose John's house is situated here and Sarah's house is situated here. So we know that the radius of the red circle is 3 miles, since Sarah's house is situated 3 miles from Dublin Airport. 
and we know that the radius of the black circle is 5 miles. Since we know that John's house is 5 miles from Dublin Airport. So here's a picture representing the largest distance that could be between John's house and Sarah's house. So this is equal to, and you can see clearly from the picture, 3 miles plus 5 miles, which is 8 miles. So this is the largest distance that D could be between the two homes. This is the answer to part 2 of the question. Now in part 3 of the question, we were asked, so we'll just look back, to write an inequality that describes all the possible values that D could have. So we saw for the answer for part 1, the shortest distance that D could be is 2 miles. And in part 2, we saw that the largest distance D could be is 8 miles. So then we know that D is any distance that is greater than or equal to 2 miles and less than or equal to 8 miles. So we can write this then as D, the distance between John's house and Sarah's house, is anywhere between 2 miles and 8 miles. Now this is a combined inequality. It has two inequality symbols.